Hi everybody, this is Crystal. Welcome to my channel, Baggedy Crochet, where we talk about anything and everything that has to do with yarn or crochet. So today we're going to be doing, uh, talking about crochet. I'm going to show you a crochet tutorial, but remember not to forget to look down in the description box where you'll find a link, very first link, of over a thousand crochet tutorials, all free for you to enjoy. And if you do enjoy, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, so this is the uh, Mystic Lantern uh, motif. And there are many, many versions of this out there. And I'm going to show you how to make this one. I think it's pretty. So I made it in a couple of different colors here. Here it is. I got it sewed up. So what I'll show you how to sew it too. What you can do with these is it's pretty much endless. You can make blankets. You can make like triangle shawls, like, you know, start here like this would be the bottom point and then you go two and then you would sew three together then four together and then of course you can make the blankets where you go across and make it as wide as you want and keep going um you can make bags kind of put them together and flip them up certain ways uh anything really that you can do with the granny square you can pretty much do with these your creativity is endless when it comes to things like this so this is what I'm going to show you that we're making. So I'll go ahead and give you a size on it. Um, so as you can see, it does it has the lantern shape to it. Ovals out here. So I'll do you from point to point. Mine measures nine and a half. And then across this way, we got about uh, almost seven. Okay. And we'll go ahead and talk about the yarn we used. So the yarn I use actually is, you can use any color you want. Any color that you want. You can use a whole bunch of different colors. You can do it on a solid color. It's completely up to you. But the rainbow that I use here is um, Ice Yarns Picasso in the color rainbow. It is a medium weight number four yarn. So I used that there. Um, I used it in another rainbow color for the black one. They're just one's pastel and one's regular, but they're both the same brand of yarn. And then the white yarn is uh, Premier Basic, which is also a uh, four weight. It's a 100% acrylic. And then for the black, I used Joanne's Big Twist to value, which is also a four weight, 100% acrylic. So, you know, this is a good scrap yarn project too. Um, making blankets out of this with scrap yarn is is cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll go ahead and get started. Um, I also used a size. Ooh, I can't read it. I, which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll get started. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and start with the center color right there. So I'll go ahead and grab mine. Let me move this out of the way. This is very easy to do. It's not hard at all. Now, we're going to go ahead and start with the slip knot on your hook. Now, you can start off with the magic circle if you prefer. If not, you want to go ahead and start with the chain of five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. So I go into it, throw my tail over. And I always use my middle finger and I put it between the hook and the chain like that. And then I do my slip stitch. That way I can keep my center circle open. There we go. Now I'm going to chain one. So that chain one does not count as a stitch. It's not going to count as, as a stitch here or any other time that we use it for the rest of the uh, motif. So what we're going to do is we're going to be working through the center of the ring and we're going to work 18 double crochets so we're going to yarn over and put our hook through the ring and then draw back up and then we're going to go ahead and do our double crochet like normal so that is number one there's two three 
four. So you just want to keep going until you get a total of, there's five, 18 double crochets through the center. And I'll meet back up with you. All right, once you get your 18 double crochets that are made, you want to go ahead and in row one by slip stitching into your first double crochet. Just like that. Now what we can do, we can pull that center tail to close up that circle a little bit more and later on we can sew it together with the tail and then it'll be completely shut just like this one. All right, so we'll go ahead and start row two. Row two, we are going to chain one, which remember does not count as a stitch. We're gonna go back into this very first stitch here and what we're gonna do is we're going to do a double crochet into it So there's one double, and then we're gonna work a chain of two. One, two, and we're gonna go back into that same spot and work another double crochet. So in that very first stitch, we worked a double, chain two, and a double. And what that created is one of the points of the lantern. As you can see, it does have two points. So we created the first one. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to chain one, and we're going to double crochet into the next stitch and we want to do that until we have eight double crochets not counting this point here so that is number one again chain one go right into the very next stitch and double crochet so that's two not counting the point chain one go back into the very next stitch that's three, chain one, the very next one. There's four, chain one. There's five, chain one. Six, chain one. Seven, chain one. Eight, chain one after that. So don't count this point here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight double crochets with chain ones in between them. And make sure you chain one after that last one. Now we're gonna put a point into the next stitch. We're gonna put the uh, second point of the motif. So we're gonna go right into the next stitch and we're gonna work a double crochet chain a two and then back into the same spot and work a double crochet. So that is the second point there. Now we're gonna do over here what we did over here. So we'll have to chain one and double crochet into the very next stitch, chain one and double crochet into the very next stitch. And we're gonna do that eight times and when we get done with eight, we will be back at the starting point. So that's where I'll meet back up with you. All right, so I've made it here to my starting point. I chained one after that last double crochet. And you wanna go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first double right down here. Like this. Just like that. And you should have a total all together, counting the points to the double crochets of the points, 20 double crochets all the way around. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and tie off because I'm gonna switch colors. So I'm gonna clip my yarn here like that. And I'm going to pull it through and I'm gonna bring in my another color. I'm gonna bring in white. Now remember, you can change colors however often as you like. I mean, the possibilities are endless with a motif like this. The things you can make and the colors you can make it. I'm gonna bring in white, and I'm gonna start right here into this chain two space of our first point. So we just ended here. I'm gonna put my hook through that chain two space, and I'm gonna pull my yarn through 
I'm going to chain one. I'm going to do something that you're not supposed to do, but we do it here on Bag of Day's channel. I'm going to take the tail of the yarn that we just clipped and the tail of the yarn that I just started with, and I'm going to tie a knot. That way it doesn't come undone. There we go. Now I'm going to crochet those tails in as I go. So now we're going to start row three. So Okay, we did our chain one. Now we're going to work back into this chain two space here. We're going to work two double crochets right through that space. So there's one and there's two. And since this is the point, we're going to chain two and we're going to go back in to the same space and we're going to work two more double crochets. There's one and there's two just like that now we're going to be working into the chain one spaces from the previous row so i'm going to go ahead and chain one and then into the next chain one space right here i'm going to work two double crochets so i'm just going to go right through the space and i'm going to work two doubles there's one and there is two and that's kind of what I'm going to repeat. I'm going to chain one again. And then my next chain one space right here, I'm going to go right through it and work two double crochets again. And I'm trying to hide those tails <clears throat> as I go. That way I don't have to sew them in later. So I'm going to do this until I get to chain one again. The point down here. Two doubles into the next chain one space chain one two doubles into the next chain one space so I'm going to work two doubles into each of the chain one spaces with the chain one in between them and I'll meet back up with you down here at the point down here all right, so I made it down here to the chain two space, the point at the bottom. I'm gonna make sure I chain one after that last set of two double crochets. And in this chain two space, I'm going to work the same thing that we did up here at the top. I'm gonna to work two doubles into it, a chain of two, and then two more doubles. So that would create our point at the bottom. It's okay if it seems a little wavy that's fine yours might yours might you it may not depending on I guess how thick and thin of four weights that you might be using okay so now we're gonna do the same thing over here that we just did over here we're gonna start by chaining one and in each of the chain one spaces from the previous row we're gonna work two double crochets with a chain one in between them so there's a chain one jump to the next chain one space here and work two double crochets chain one jump to the next chain one space work two double crochets chain one and I'm going to repeat this until I get up here to the end of my row all right so I'm coming to the end of row three I put two double crochets into my last chain one space and I'm back up here at my point I want to make sure I chain one after that last set of two double crochets and I'm going to end by putting a slip stitch into my first double crochet here like that and now I'm gonna I'm gonna switch colors here so I'm gonna tie this off it should have a total of 44 double crochets all together so you can see it kind of starts to take place a little bit of an oval there <clears throat> so I'm clipping off and I'm going to bring in my other color. I'm gonna clip these off too, real quick, so they're not in my way. Okay. So bring in my other color and we'll go ahead and we'll start row four. I'm gonna start in the chain two space here. 
So here's where we just uh, clipped off. I'm gonna start right here. And I'm going back to my rainbow, rainbow yarn and I'm going to pull my yarn through. I'm going to chain one. And in this chain two space, I'm gonna work two double crochets. So there's one and there's two. This is the point, but we're only gonna work half the point right here. Okay, and you'll see why when we get back around to the beginning. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work one double crochet in top of every double crochet and in every chain one space until we get down to our next point. So I just put two double crochets into this chain two space. Make sure you get this first guy here because sometimes he hides. And now I'm gonna work one double crochet in every stitch and every chain one space. Until we get down to our bottom point, our, our next chain two space. Make sure you're going, make sure you're putting a double crochet into the chain one spaces as well. So just like this, and I'll meet back up with you when I get down there to my bottom point. All right, I made it down here to the bottom point, this chain two space, and I'm gonna go right into it. And I'm gonna work two double crochets. There's one, two, I'm gonna chain two, and work two more double crochets back into that same spot. Just like that. And again, I'm going to make this side look like this side. So I'm going to continue by putting one double crochet into every stitch and into every chain one space until I make it up to the top. And I'll show you how we're going to finish this round out. All right, so I'm coming to the end of row four here. Now, we're, I'm at my chain two space from the beginning. Remember we put two double crochets in it, um, in the point? Now we're gonna put, go ahead and put two more double crochets into this first chain two space. And now we're, instead of doing a chain of two, we're gonna work a half double crochet into our first double crochet. And that will end round four. Now the reason why we did that is because I'm gonna continue with this color and that brings me straight into the center of this chain, of this space here. That half double is counting as a chain two and I don't have to do any slip stitching. Uh, you should have a total of 72 stitches now and this is what it will look like. Cool, it looks neat, doesn't it? I think it's pretty. Okay, let's go ahead and start row five. Now row five, we're gonna chain one. Now we're gonna go back into the same spot here and we're gonna work two half double crochets into the chain two space or into this space right here, half doubles this time. So there's one half double two half doubles and then we're going to work a half double crochet into the next stitch which is this one right here that we worked into on the previous row half double into that like that now we're going to work one single crochet into every stitch until we get to the stitch before our chain two, our next chain two space. So we're just working singles now. All the way down and I'll meet back up with you at the stitch before our chain two space down here. Just 
one single on every stitch. All right, so I've made it to the stitch before my chain two space. So I'm gonna put a half double crochet into that stitch. And then in the chain two space, I'm gonna work two half double crochets. So there's one, two, and then I'm going to chain two and I'm gonna work two more half double crochets into the same spot. And again, I need to make this side look like this side. So I'll put a half double crochet into this very first stitch, kind of slide these over. And then I'll put a single crochet in every stitch until I get two the last stitch before my chain two space. Just like this. Starting to look like. Okay, I'll meet back up with you when we get right up here. All right, I'm coming to the end of a row five. And I'm at the last stitch before my chain two space. I'm going to put a half double crochet into that la into that last stitch. And then I'm going to put, we started out with two half doubles here. I'm going to put go ahead and put two half double crochets again into this chain space. So there's one, two, and now I'm going to chain two. And I'm going to end by slip stitching into my first half double crochet and I'm going to tie off and change colors here. So I'm going to do a color change and at the end of row five you should have 80 stitches now and this is what it starts to look like. Looking pretty neat. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go back to my white, and this will be the final row here. So I'm going to go ahead and start um, in this chain two space here where we just uh, left off. Okay, I'm going to pull my yarn through. And I'm going to maybe chain one. And I'm going to do what, you know, what you're not supposed to do. I'm going to tie, tie a knot in these two tails here. That way they don't slip away from us. And then I'll hide that, these tails as we go. All right. So this is the final row here. We did the chain one. Okay, we're going to go back into this chain two space. And we're going to work three half double crochets into this space. Just three. There's one, two, and three. And then I'm going to work one half double crochet right here into the next stitch. You can see it. That's where we slip stitched into. Half double crochet there. And now I'm going to work cross and I'm going to put one single crochet into every stitch until I get down to the last stitch before our chain two space. So this is kind of similar to the row we just did, kind of. So one single crochet in every stitch. And I'll meet back up with you down here at the last stitch before our chain two space. All right, I'm down here at my chain two space and I'm at the last stitch before. I'm gonna go ahead and put a half double crochet into the stitch before. And then I'm gonna work three half double crochets here into the chain space. This little spot right here does not count as a stitch, okay? That's kind of one of the part of the chain space. So don't go into it, go right here. Work three half doubles. There's one, two, and three. Now we're going to work one half double into the first stitch. Now this this part's important so you, you don't mess up your count. The very first stitch is actually kind of right here. It kind of doesn't look like a stitch, but it is. 
right there. See that? It's kind of the back side of a half double. So we'll go ahead and put a half double crochet into that. There we go. And then we're going to work and we're going to put one single crochet in every stitch until we make it back up to the top, until we make it to the uh, last stitch. So one single in every stitch until the last one, and that's where I'll be back up with you. Alright, so I've made it here to my last stitch. I'm going to go do a half double crochet into this last stitch. And then I'm going to end. We've already put our three half doubles here uh, by slip stitching into our first half double crochet and tying off. And you should have a total of 86 stitches here at the end of row six. So that is it. Now we need to hide our tail. So this is what it looks like. I think it's really pretty. So let's go ahead and we'll tie up this center one here. I'll show you how you can just make that disappear. Go ahead and get your yarn needle. And just I always just go around it like this and give it a good tug and just keep going around it and it will close itself up there we go just like that it's magic you know just like that and once it's closed up like that just take it and go the opposite direction once, just to kind of lock your tail in place. Like that, and that is closed. Then you want to tie off your top one here. Now remember, you make, make these, or hide this top one here. I'm going to pull it through like that, and flip it around the back, and sew it. Hide it. Now... You can, like I said, you can make bags out of these, uh, scarves, uh, cool scarves out of these. Um, blankets are very, very beautiful made out of these. Anything that you can think of. Like I said, that that you can use for a granny square for, you can sew these together for as well. So I'm going to go ahead and go back the opposite direction there. Okay. So I'm going to show you how I sew now these together. Now I might look a little wonky here. Fix it up. All right. So this is what we have. I've already started to sew mine. Now I crocheted mine in a way that I could sew it so it had a lip on it because that adds interest to it. Can you see that lip right here? I think that makes these, uh, gives them a nice defining line between each of the motifs. I like it. So what you do is, we'll set this to the side, is you take a corresponding yarn, usually the last color that you crochet with. I'm just going to use a yarn needle and a piece of yarn. And eventually, you know, they'll, they'll end up kind of like this. But with this lip, it's going to lip up like this. Normally these would, I would use, you know, court. All the uh, scent outside of uh, color would be the same. But I just showed you a different color here. But they go kind of like that. So to sew them on, since I've already started with this one, I guess we can just go ahead and start with this one. Um, there's a corner up here. You would just kind of start. Remember, I have this last row of single crochet on each piece. I'm going to count that. I'm going to lip it up like that. And I'm going to sew it like that. So I am, let me turn around and get in a good spot. I'm just going to use the middle stitch where we put three half double crochets together. Grab it from this one over here as well. 
and go through that stitch and then the middle half double crochet of this one and go through it pull it through and I'm just gonna sew mine to get on and then I'm gonna go through the next let me uh, get a little bit closer so you can see now you don't have to sew them this way you can single crochet them together you can slip stitch them together this is, is kind of how I like to do it I'm gonna go into the next stitch here and then the next stitch on this one over here go through oh pull it through and then over here on this side the next stitch and the next stitch on this one and go through I'm gonna do this all the way down here like I said, normally my outline color would be the same all the way around, but I did some in black and some in white, so the white thread is going to bleed over here, so, or the white yarn. And this is how, how I do it, and that's creating that lip, which gives it a lot of contrast, especially if you're making a blanket. It makes it look super interesting. You don't have to do that. So I just do this all the way down. It's like it down here. So I'm going to continue doing this. And as you can see, it's creating that lip. I'm going to go ahead and go all the way down here till I'm down here at the point. All right, so I've made it all the way down here. And then I kind of just stop when I get to the third half double crochet of the piece I'm sewing on to go through here and then what I do is I would stop and then I would wait and then I could sew on another one down here you know just keep doing that all right so say you don't want the lip which I think the lips pretty cool actually because like I said it gives each of the motifs a nice defining definition there but it's not gonna be for everybody so say you don't want it so we need to start a new piece here but as you can see, you have to find the center of where to start it. So you're going to have to learn, I mean, you're going to have to know how to do that um, whenever you're making, if you're making a blanket or something like that, because every row you're going to have to try to find the center. So um, for this particular motif that I made, what you want to do is you want to count down 22 stitches from the middle stitch of our uh, three up here. Starting with the middle one, count down 22. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And that's going to be our center. So we're going to go into that. And then that is where we would start it here. So um, you would just go into the center here. But we're not going to say you don't want the lip this time. So you don't want the lip. You got your 22 you got your 22nd stitch here. Um, mark it with a piece of yarn. I'm probably confusing everybody here. It's just, it's prettier with a lip, plus it's easier. But anyway, <laughs> go ahead and mark it with a piece of yarn there. There we go. So we know where that's at. What we're going to do is we're going to flip it like this. So the right side of one is, the this one down here is facing up. Now the wrong side is facing that away. And we're gonna sew it like this so we got our 22nd one marked off and that's going to be in the corner here of this one so we grab that third stitch here right here the middle stitch of this group of three and then go into that 22nd stitch like that and pull that stitch marker out and we're gonna sew it the same way back and forth let me get in a little closer i'm just giving you a couple of examples of how you can sew it you don't have to do it any of my ways but and then you go into the next stitch and then the next stitch here and we just do the back and forth method like we did now remember that 22nd stitch is how you find the center of these of these particular motifs that of this this design here that i'm showing you ever you know there's tons of different designs out there so that's only going to work for this one 
And you're always you're gonna have to find the center, you know, if you're making a blanket every time you go across. So I'm gonna do this all the way down. Until I get down here, here, which will end up in the center of this one. It's back and forth. It's like we did uh, when we we're creating the ridge. So I'll meet back up with you. Once I make it all the way down here to the point down here. All right, you come, you would just sew all the way down until you got to the middle stitch of your group of three there, and then you could flip it over like that. And you can see now there is no ridge here. Let me pull my camera. Oh, the other way. So you can do it with or without the ridge. See, now that makes it lay flat, and there is. It looks good that way actually too. I like it both ways, but I do prefer that ridge on it. I think it's interesting, but goodness gracious, that is to each their own. So that is how it's sewn together. And then again, I would just uh, make a new one. I would sew this up here, either with, if you want to do it with the ridge, you would just do them both facing up like this. And do it the same way we did over here and if you don't want the ridge and you want it to lay flat like that which you know that looks really good too you would have to flip this one over like this and sew it the same way we just did there okay and then you would m keep making motifs and keep going for whatever it is that you're making whether it be a scarf uh, like i said a bag um uh beautiful beautiful blanket these make like i said make beautiful blankets whatever you desire and i just showed you a couple ways that you can sew it with the ridge sticking up here or flat it's completely up to you and again you don't even there's plenty of other tutorials i'm sure that'll show you how to sew up uh thing i have other tutorials that show you how to sew up granny square so this is just basically sew it up the same way but that's it i hope you enjoyed my tutorial i hope it wasn't too confusing because i got a little there a little confusing there on the sewing part i guess but but either way you do it it's it's going to look good regardless i think it's an it's a it's a really cool motif um i've always liked it so i hope that you enjoyed my tutorial i hope you were able to follow along if you make this whatever you make out of it I'd really be interested to see somebody make a blanket out of it or, you know, a poncho or, like I said, a triangle shawl. You could start with one, then you do two, and then um, I could do one, two, add another one here. It'd be three, and then the next row would be four. You know, if you kept going, then five across the top, then six across the top, it would uh, make a triangle shawl. So that would be cool, poncho, you know. You know, it's endless. So whatever you make. Come show me on my Baggedy Crochet Facebook page. I'll put a link below. Remember to hit that subscribe button. Check out my other uh, over a thousand tutorials. I promise they're not all as confusing as this one. <laughs> Give this video a like too and a comment below. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a good day. Bye guys.